Hi friends, welcome to the All Canadian Reptile Girl. I'm Annalise and as you can probably see, I am out of my basement and right next to a beautiful little creek somewhere in southwestern Ontario. Today we will be exploring this little area looking for an incredibly rare endangered species of snake. This is the perfect habitat for these elusive little snakes but it is estimated that there are less than 10,000 of these guys left in the wild in Ontario. So actually finding one is gonna be a long shot. Let's get to it. So what we're looking for here today is a queen snake. These are beautiful little snakes, often mistaken for garter snakes, but are not closely related at all. They are an aquatic species of snake, rarely found more than three meters from the water. They require rocky, fast moving, clean water like this to survive. I know it looks a little bit mucky, but that's just because there was a bit of a rainstorm last night. Sadly, drainage or disturbance of natural waterways, pollution, agricultural runoff, and urban development along the waterways has destroyed much of the areas in Ontario where the queen snake can live. There are only 29 known locations that they can be found in the entire province, but 15 of them are considered historic, not having any specimens found in over 20 years. These areas are also separated by large chunks of unsuitable habitat, meaning that they're kind of locked into where they are currently and moving to new territory can be very difficult. Illegal collection for the pet trade is another threat to the queen snakes. This is why I am not going to share with you any details on where I am. If I'm lucky enough to find one of these beautiful little noodles, I don't want any poachers to know where to look and come and take these guys from the wild. Now, while they are extremely rare, I do have a bit of an advantage that I hope will help me. And that is that I know for a fact that there is a population living in this stretch of river. I have caught three gorgeous queen snakes while fishing with my dad here over the last two summers. So they're out here. I just gotta find them. Let's get started. Alright, so this is really exciting. We just caught a species we didn't think we were going to catch here and it is a milk snake. It's a baby. Milk snakes are actually a type of king snake so they can eat other snakes but look at this little baby. He keeps trying to eat me though which is kind of adorable. His bites don't hurt though. But look at his coloration though. He's just a little baby gorgeous thing. So cute. When you catch something that you've never caught before, that first animal you've caught is your lifer, your first ever in your life. I've never actually caught a milk snake before, so this is my lifer. But he's so cute and he keeps trying to eat me because he's hungry. He's probably only a couple of days old, but he's super sweet. Oh, as tempting as it is to take this little nibbler home, we're gonna release him back here because this is his home. And you should never take wild animals out of the wild. As cute as they are, oh my goodness, I see your belly button. They need to live here, out in the wild. We have enough of them in captivity. All right, goodbye. Oh, he's so tiny. And now he's gone. Well, goodbye. <laughs> So check this out. I mentioned that queen snakes are sometimes mistaken for garters, but they are very different in a lot of ways. This is one of them. While garter snakes have a varied diet, worms, bugs, frogs, rodents, fish, anything they can overpower really, queen snakes on the other hand eat crayfish like this one almost exclusively. And not any old crayfish will do. They need newly molted crayfish, ones whose shells have not yet hardened. This is why the rocky, clean water is so important as a habitat. It needs to support a big enough crayfish population to have sufficient, reliable numbers of freshly molted crayfish, 
without a high concentration of pollutants to eat. And the water must be clean enough that they can sniff out the squishy crayfish that they can eat versus the crunchy ones that they can't. Let's let this little guy go back where we found him and let's go see if we can find some other stuff. Okay, so we've got one! Here is a beautiful little queen snake. You can tell from their distinctive green color, which isn't showing right now because she is in blue, and the cream color on her cheeks and all the way down her sides. But the real telltale trait are these four longitudinal stripes down their ventral scales that run their entire length. No other similar species has this kind of patterning on their belly. Isn't she gorgeous? She's in blue, so she's not as pretty as she normally would be, but that's all right. I think she's still gorgeous. The max length is about 60 centimeters or two feet. They are extremely gentle and very rarely bite. This one gave not really any resistance at all. It just kind of let me scoop her up. And if you look at her face, hopefully this shows up on camera, you can probably see these thicker scales on the upper lip and chin. This provides protection as she hunts through the narrow spaces, rubbing between or on rocks, on the shore or the stream bed. Neat, eh? She does have a couple somewhat healed injuries and hopefully when she sheds, the scabs will come right off. You might also notice that she keeps the forks of her tongue spread wider than most snakes. This helps her key in on what direction her prey is in when she's hunting underwater. She will collect scent particles with the tip of her tongue and bring them into pits on the roof of her mouth called Jacobson's organ. If more new crayfish smell is picked up on her right fork, she knows the crayfish is to her right and will move that way. By weaving back and forth across the scent trail, she can hone in on her prey. Across their entire range, the population of queen snakes is in good shape. Their conservation status is listed as least concern. But as I mentioned earlier, they are critically endangered in Ontario and a very rare sight. There are some things that you can do to help. Get involved with your local conservation authorities. Many will have waterway naturalization and restoration projects, which may rely on volunteers to help. By restoring the natural state of our local creeks, you can increase the habitable range and may even allow them to move into new areas. Another thing you can do is organize or participate in a litter cleanup along the waterways in your community. Donate or volunteer to reptile rescue organizations or local conservation groups. Even something as simple as just taking a garbage bag with you when you go hiking or fishing and picking up the trash you find on your travels. Every little bit helps. Hey, I am so happy that we found one of these great little snakes. And for the third year in a row, it's just incredible. All right, let's put her back. We don't want to stress her out. Frog. Okay, so another beautiful and hungry little milk snake. A little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> You're so cute. But I don't want you to hurt your teeth on me. Apparently he has a little bit of a appetite for human flesh. Aw, but he's so cute, so it's okay. What a great day. We caught a queen snake, though she was a little bit beat up and in blue. I still think she was amazing. I caught my lifer milk snake, who was an adorable, beautiful little baby, and then another baby milk snake. We caught a couple toads, we caught a frog, we caught a crayfish even. We're going to wrap it up here and maybe do a little bit of fishing while we're here. If I catch anything good, I'll just toss that footage in the bloopers. I am just over the moon about catching a queen snake and if you enjoyed it too please give this video a thumbs up and remember to nurture all nature see you next time bye oh what are you i shall eat you instead <coughs> i think it's a moth oh it made my eyes water is it a spicy moth it doesn't have great mouth though Thanks for that. <laughs>
Hello, cutie. It's okay. You came right out. Hello. Oh, okay. It's okay. So giant. Look at him. <laughs> Can you stop? I'm worried that you're going to hurt your teeth. <laughs> Is he still eating you? Yes. I love him. <laughs> I 